What's going on everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to take a look at the Catwoman of East End Omnibus. Very excited for this. I love this run. I'm very glad DC made this book. Um, it's, ex it's very exciting. Can't wait to dive into it with you all. Before we do, really quickly want to mention OrganicPriceBooks.com, our sponsor, the most amazing place to go to for your new comic releases. We've got two promo codes showing on the screen. Use them. Um, they're awesome. THC2, THC ship it together. Love organic price books, amazing service, amazing quality, um, and they've always got exactly what you need. Well, it seems like DC heard the people with this Catwoman release. Uh, the Ed Brubaker run on Catwoman is beloved by many. There were some very hard to get trade paperbacks in the past that got very expensive, but now DC has released this amazing oversized omnibus collecting the entire run by Brubaker. It's 37 issues of the Catwoman series, plus a few one shots and Detective Comics tie ins. Uh, I, I read this run digitally, I think I have it all digitally still. Um, I really, really enjoy it myself. Um, it's a great run, great artwork throughout Darwin Cook uh, doing the vast majority of the artwork. I like the design. It's very clean off the uh, uh, on the actual hardcover itself um, and a very simple, nice, clean uh, dust jacket too. I really like it. It's nothing too flashy, but um, I think it suits the book really, really well. Um, there's so much to say about this run. It's so good. Uh, Ed Brubaker is, of course, a very, very well-known crime noir sort of writer uh, with a little bit of horror in there as well. Uh, so Catwoman in this sort of style is definitely right up his alley. Uh, and, and Ed Brubaker knocks it out of the park. Um, what a fantastic story. Uh, I really enjoyed his take on Catwoman, a lot more uh, noir, a lot more of a cinematic movie style of storytelling. Um, I really enjoyed it. And he's got amazing artists throughout his entire run between Darwin Cook, uh, Paul Gulassi. I don't I never know if I'm saying that name right, um, who I whose whose artwork I started to adore reading his uh, uh Shang-Chi stuff, the Master of Kung Fu um, that Marvel had published recently in Omnibus format, not recently, a while ago. But uh, I really enjoyed his artwork. So, And then you've got Cameron Stewart as well, who does a really good job of sort of mimicking the Darwin Cook style. Uh, really enjoyed it for that reason. Um, Darwin Cook and, and Catwoman is a, a match made in heaven. Um, between the Catwoman scenes where he's drawing these dynamic, exciting, uh, stealthy scenes with... Uh, with darker tones to like Selena Kyle scenes where it's a lot more, uh, a, a lot more exciting, a lot more vibrant. Um, there's a lot more even detail in the scenes. It's really, really well done. Um, I, I love Darwin Cook's artwork though. So I'm, I'm always partially biased in that way, but it suits the tone of the book really, really well. Um, I remember initially hearing about Darwin Cook doing the artwork for an Ed Brubaker run, run on Catwoman. And it was a bit bizarre to me, but, um, you know, it's, Tough, tough, tough to miss when you've got two such amazing creators. They make it work no matter what you may think going into it. Um, in terms of the story itself, it's a fantastic Ed Brubaker story. It's got the classic things that you look for in a you know a forty ish uh, issue run. You get your individual stories, um, some of which have drastic changes to the characters' uh, life and relationships, um, some of which don't. And uh, and at the end of it all, you have a full storyline with huge issues where you've seen characters grow and you've seen characters change and uh, you get, you know, a, a change within the character's history and life as a result of the run. Um, really well done. Really well done. I, I, I really can't complain about this. It's really well written um, sort of crime stories, you know, mafia involved stories, gangster stories. Um, with Catwoman thrown into the mix, uh, a lot of Slam Bradley, who's this sort of detective PI guy who is uh, a huge part in this storyline and a fantastic part of the storyline. Um, but it's it, it's great to see, you know, it, a Catwoman title where there are moments in time where Catwoman's taking a a side role in the story and, and being a huge 
part of the story, a huge cog in the machine of the story, but not necessarily the focal point of it. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Ed Brubaker hit some great emotional moments. He he really develops great relationships for you to uh, to see evolve and and, and enjoy being uh, you know being a sort of weird watcher of uh, as they continue and change and seeing how you know different parts of the storylines and and their lives interact with one another in ways they wouldn't expect. Um, really really interesting stuff. The binding on this book itself is pretty good um it's a it's a pretty big book it's dc you know i never have high expectations with dc books it takes a while before it stays open on its own as with all dc books um but the paper quality is really nice i can't complain about that it's nice thick paper uh felt really good flipping through it um it felt really good seeing the table the the book on the table it looks really solid it looks like it'll uh, hold relatively well which is good considering how big it is. Um, so here you get to see the Paul Galassi artwork. The tone changes quite a bit. It's a very different style from what Cameron Stewart and Darwin Cook were doing. Um, very A lot more um, kung fu movie style, but done, done, done well. Done well for the most part. Um, some characters can look weird, but I don't mind the style. Uh, I, I really dug the artwork. It's, it's different from what uh, you usually see in comic books, which is, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's nice that it's different enough to be exciting. And uh, it sets, the, it changes the tone of the story a little bit. Um, you know, it's not as, as cartoony, it's not as light anymore. Uh, things start getting a bit more serious here. Um, I really enjoyed this. There's a lot of different shades and tones within the story. Um, while staying true to the character in this sort of mini pocket universe that Catwoman inhabits within a Gotham City or whatever, wherever it is she may be. Um, I'll say that much. But uh, I really enjoyed it. If you're new to Catwoman, I think it's, it's, it's a relatively good series to start reading Catwoman uh, with. You know, it's, it's definitely a, a book where people familiar with the character will get more out of the exploration of the characters and, and some of the storylines. But overall, I, I, I would definitely recommend this for a new reader of the series. This is also a book that, in my estimation, is most likely going to be very difficult to get soon. Um, unless DC is like con consistently reprinting it, this is a, a book a lot of people have been asking for. So um, wouldn't be surprised if it... Uh, if it went out of stock very quick and it was difficult to get after a while. So with that in mind too, if it's something that you're considering but are on the fence on, um, I would put that into consideration as well, just in case. Um, so um, I, I, I personally really liked it. It's something I know a lot of people have been asking for, so it's kind of cool to see whether it's DC listening to fans or just doing whatever they think is best for their business, I guess. Um, it, it worked out for the fans either way. A little bit of bonus features here, some character biographies, a little bit of artwork. Um, nothing too exciting, not too much bonus content either, but uh, nice to get a, a little tiny bit of something, you know? It's better than absolutely nothing, I guess. I don't know. Either way, really enjoy this and, uh, and, and highly recommend picking it up. If you're a fan of Catwoman, if you've been curious about Catwoman, if you're a fan of Ed Brubaker... Uh, there's a ton of reasons, a fan of Darwin Cook, so many reasons to pick this up. Uh, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, what did you guys think of this book? Have you read the series? Is this something you've been considering getting? And what other Catwoman books would you recommend to people um, looking to get into the character? Let us know down in the comments section below. Thank you all very much for tuning in. One more time, check out organicpricebooks.com. There were some promo codes at the start of this video. Go back and check those out. They'll save you some money on your orders. Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, you stay classy, Internet.